Hi, welcome to Slow Fashion Mom. I'm Rachel and today we'll be doing some mending. I will be showing you how I repair my kids pants today. You could easily apply this to your own clothing, although distressed denim is really in right now, so it's up to you. Here in Toronto, we're heading into fall and winter, the cold weather. I don't want my kids to be freezing, so I will be repairing their pants today. My son who is six, I'm going to repair his jeans. I thrifted these probably last spring and as you can see they came with this distressed look here so I was wondering how they'd hold up funnily enough they've gotten holes right below the distressing on both sides so for this I could either repair how they've come what they've done here is they've just put a little piece of fabric behind there and then sewn it up I want something more heavy-duty so I'm going to add denim patches. A little while ago I donated all of my fabric scraps so today all I've got are these little cutoffs from some of my shorts but I think that's enough. My plan is to cut patches, lay it on top of the hole and then I'm going to leave the edges raw and just do a bunch of haphazard kind of sewing to, to keep with that distressed look but adding reinforcement. And my daughter has these really cute floral leggings that have been passed down to us from some friends. Both of her daughters wore these leggings and now my daughter has worn them for at least a year. They've got a pretty big hole in the knee now and they're really nice quality leggings so I'm going to repair them. What I usually do with my daughter's leggings, if they're worth repairing, I take a scrap from some other leggings that are just too worn out to be worn by another kid so I wouldn't donate these. Today I have this pair. They're too small for my daughter as well as really stained. Um, the knees are pretty much gray but they happen to be a perfect accent color for the leggings. So I'm going to use them as patches. To start off, I'm going to measure how big I want my patches and then cut them out of my denim scraps. I'm then going to place them on the jeans where I'd like them to be and pin those in place. I'm going to do the same to my daughter's leggings, measure what size I'd like the patches, and then cut them out of my spare leggings. I'm cutting these double thick just to make sure they're really durable. And then I'm just going to round the corners. It's much easier to sew rounded corners than square, I find. Now I will place them on the legs and pin them in place as well. I'm going to be hand sewing these patches on. I find it much easier to hand sew than try and get these little tiny leggings onto the sewing machine. Today I'll be using embroidery floss. You can completely use regular thread with a regular stitch, that's fine. I've done that before. Today I want more of a decorative look, so I'm going to do a blanket stitch all the way around. And I'm sewing these with my hand on the inside just to make sure I only catch the patch and the front layer of fabric. I'm just going to start at one corner and then sew all the way around the patch and that's it. I'm going to sew my son's patches by machine. Here I'm just removing the bottom of the machine which exposes the arm. This makes it really easy to slide the jeans on and get right in there. I'm just going to be doing a bunch of rows of machine stitching back and forth kind of all over the place to secure this patch. You just have to kind of keep rearranging the fabric and checking to see if you've got enough stitching to your liking. So that's it for these patches, just back and forth, a ton of machine stitching the whole way and that's it. Mm -hmm. 
And here's what the finished patches look like on the jeans. So there you have it, a simple repair to extend the life of your kids' clothing. I feel sometimes it's worth it doing a repair. In this case, these jeans are, besides the knees, in really great condition and they fit my son well. If he was outgrowing the jeans and if the bottoms of the jeans were also really scuffed up and I wouldn't donate them to another kid, then I might cut them off into jean shorts. That's another option. And same with the leggings for my daughter. I don't always repair leggings. If they aren't good quality leggings and they're really thin to begin with, I would probably just donate to a textile recycler or something. I hope this video today was helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if you mend your kids' clothing. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these mending videos. I will see you next time. Bye.